Hello everybody. Welcome. Welcome to my home and welcome to my art room. I'm Sam or Sam I am. I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing fantabulistic. I'm so excited to be here with you guys to do another project. If you've been here before then you know how I do things. If not, I will take a moment to explain. I use a number generating app to choose my colors. I have numbered all of my colors my micas, my alcohol inks, my resin dyes, my India inks. If it puts color in resin, other than glitters and crushed glass and rocks and any type of embellishment, those aren't numbered. But any of my colors, they're numbered. And to date, I'm at 492 different colors. Yeah, yeah, I love them. I do, I love colors. So what I do is I enter the parameters of one through 492. Then I'll hit generate. I will do this four times to get four different colors. You may ask, why do I do this? I do it because I'm indecisive. I can't choose colors. Everything I choose is the same old, same old. Boring, plain, and just no zest, no pal, no wow. So I needed something I thought random. And what better way than to use a number generator for random? It just popped in my head one day. Truly, it did. And I told my son about it. He was like, that's really cool, Mom. And it really has. It's been a lot of fun. Very cool, I would like to say. I have had, of course, there's colors that don't go with the other colors. The combinations just don't work. If I get a color or colors that don't work with what I have, then I call a mulligan. And I will pull the color, or possibly more than one color, and I'll generate another number for another color to replace those. That we call a mulligan. I can add any additional colors that I want, all the embellishments, I can pick the project, and I just have to use four colors. That's it. I think I covered everything. It's super easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I really hate that saying, but it just came out. Because that's what it is. It's just simple but it's so much fun so without any further explaining or talking about it let's just do it let me show you how I roll yeah all right let's go let's enter our parameters 1 through 492 I have to fix this is fucking my nerves I don't know if y'all can see that little cord my phone cord it's like right here flapping in the wind okay 492 we're gonna hit generate 258 now that's our first number Second number, 72. Third number, 392. And our fourth number, 332. Now, I will put you on hold. I'll pull these colors, see if I want to add anything, pick out our project, and mix up some resin. I'll be back before you know it. You'll never know it. Hang tight. Guess what? I'm back. It's just a mulligan type of weekend. I haven't had one straight through. Oh, no, I did have one that I didn't have to call a mulligan on. I have to call a mulligan. Mu mulligan? <laughs> a mulligan. Two of these have to go. I just don't know which two. So I'm going to generate. This is kind of like a guide for me, guys. We don't want to waste resin. So I'm not cheating. I'm still using the number generator. I'm just kind of using it a little different. But this is how I, I like to use it and how I, I, just let me generate and you'll see. It's not cheating. Generate. 99. Okay, let me pull that. See what it is. 98. So this is black onyx. It's kind of neutral, so that's not bad. All right. 254. 254, which is going to be... Oh, no. Oh, I think I have this one out. I did. Peacock blue. So that's not bad. I can work with these these right here. Yep, 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 yep. Because those two will probably make peacock blue. And then we'll have black. And then I'll figure out something to add to it. Definitely not these reds because they're not working. 
All right, guys, I got what I needed. You saw it. You saw me do it. Hang tight. Hey, everybody, I'm back. We got all of our stuff, all of our goodies for our pouring party. So let's get pouring. First, let's do our micas. And I like to do my micas with a little bit in there and then add a little bit of resin. Mix it up like a paste. Mix it up into a paste and then add the rest of your resin. And it's so much easier to combine. It really is. Let me put this up. I have a little, my resin curing plate is right here and the little thermal thing that goes on top. I can put it up so it's block the pigment powder from flying everywhere. I'm using this one in here though. It's the Silver Knight from Lorez. And it's so very fine. Not just fine, fine, but it's teeny fine. And it flies around everywhere. So I put some in there. Silver Knight. And we gotta put in some Nori Green. I remember to stay in screens, here I am. Trying to get better at doing that. Just about out of this one. I'll have to order a new one. See, I, I'd use a lot of samples, guys, because I can't. Number one, they're all expensive if you get the jar, full jar. Number two, I don't have room for the full jar. So I could just get these samples because of the way I do my numbers. You know, I don't use those colors, but so often. And I can just buy another sample pack to replace it. Works out just groovy. All right, we got black onyx. I'm not doing a whole bunch of black, so I'm not going to put in that much black. I'm not quite exactly sure what I've got going on over here. What I'm going to do, obviously I'm going to do the pizza. Or the triangle geode, whatever you want to call it. And, um, I think I'm just going to mix this with the, the uh, nori green. Because there's not much of it. These color shifts... They don't come with much. I didn't know that. And as I can tell, it's not going to be enough for a whole cup. I'm just going to put it in with this green. We're going to make a peacock color, I think. Hmm. Another peacock blue. I'm hoping anyway. Now I'm out of this color. I'll have to replace it with either the same color or another color. I kind of have colors sitting aside so I can replace them. If I don't, um, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, no, I did it in the right one. Okay. All right, now let's add a little bit of resin. I had some of this cup from something I had to do. I'll show y'all that at the end of the video. Something I've been working on. I'm pretty proud of it. Pretty cotton picking proud. And you guys can let me know what you think. clean this cup out. It's clear. I just put, <gasps> Oops. I just put it over here and we'll use it in a minute. Alright, so see you just put a little bit of mica or the pigment powder in with a little bit of resin and you mix that all up and it just makes that pigment powder mix up so much easier. And just mix it all up. Yeah, so like, I don't know, I'm going to wait to see what these colors look like. Then I'm going to decide what I'm doing. I don't really have a clue yet. I don't know what embellishments I want to use. It all depends on what that blue and green turn out to look like. And that peacock blue, I need to do that as well. And there's black. <laughs> All right. 
Now let's see what our blue green looks like. Give this peacock. I don't have any more blue to add to it. And it looks like it's not enough. It's very green. Very, very green. I could add a blue to it. Why don't we do that? I have my new blue. Pacific Blue by Eye Candy. Let's see what this looks like. With a little bit in there. Just a little bit. I don't want to drastically change it to blue. And the green is strong or something. There we go. Now we got something happening. Pretty. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, let's put the lid on this. We don't need any more. Okay, so that's Nori Green and Pacific Blue and a little Amadori. Look at that, y'all. That's beautiful. Alright, so let's um Go ahead and pour the rest of our resin. And since I don't really know what I'm doing, I don't really know how much to pour. I know I'm not doing a lot of black, so I'll do that. Probably not a lot of silver. So we'll do that. And I'm loving this color, so. that and then we'll put the peacock blue in here where's that at let's see what we got and this is a resin dye that i just poured all that in there and did not need to but i did it didn't it yeah it's a dye but goodness it's not very strong like the other ones but look how close that is to our peacock Man, that's awesome. So we just need a whole lot more of this in there. Okay, so how about... We have it a little rough around the outside. Then I'll do some black, some silver, and then the peacock. And I have like way too much resin for everything. Maybe I'll just put this back here because it's not strong or dark. So I could put that with the, um, I'm gonna do crushed mirror, I think. Yeah. Or, yeah, I think I'm gonna do this. Crush mirror. Let me grab. Hang with me, guys. Just one second. Oh, I could do black. I could do black. Nah. We are doing. Mirror, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Family, family, yes, she is. Yeah. Pretty upright. I am pretty fair, but I'm not the fairest of them all. Okay, so let's put some rock, uh, mirror around here. Oh, I need to put it in. I think there's mixing this up. I don't know what to do. I really don't. I think I'm just going to mix, put the crushed mirror down, and then um, pour clear. No. 
pour this pecan. And this is not going to be below the mold, so I'm making it rough. I like this mold. Something pretty funny about it though. When you stack it together, they don't match. They're not all even. So I contacted the seller and she told me that they were supposed to be that way. That that's how she has done them and she sold very a lot of them. And that she's sorry I was disappointed, but Basically, I'm the only one that's complained about it, and oh well. I mean, it's a nice mold. I just don't understand why they don't match up evenly when you stack them, you know? So maybe it's not a big deal. I, I just thought it was. Alright, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pour a little bit of clear here first. I'm going to pour some in this cup. I'm sitting here trying to think what else am I going to pour when I'm done with this because I know I'm going to have so much resin left. I'm not quite sure why I poured so much what I was thinking. What were you thinking, darling? Just a little bit. Make these stick together. Oops. Overflow. out we go black. Now let's do some silver. This is going to look very good. I don't know. I was thinking, I have peacock paste. Peacock dance that's like this. I could put a little bit in there because you know what paste does. Paste is awesome. Peacock dance. Just a little bit. I 
I just like what paste does, you know? Oh my gosh. Except when you handle the container and no matter what you do, no matter how clean it is, it gets all over your hands. There we go. Okie doke. So, let's go this way. extra resin I can <laughs> goodness what am I gonna do I guess I'm gonna have to do some more coasters these are pretty close to the same color aren't they guys so why don't I do some silver in between those two I don't think I like these too much guys but I used the numbers I kind of went off kilter a little bit but I used them Ooh. Pretty close to the top. I'm gonna put in some clear. Everybody still here with me? You're so quiet. There's a horrible storm going across the country. I hope it's not bothering any of you peeps, my friends. Um, this is the 
Pika. going to do we're going to find out together let's put a little heat just a little bit though it's expensive mold you don't want it to burn melt whatever get ruined for sure even though it's messed up well according to the lady it's not Quickly and efficiently you move it. All right. And then the other thing I want to do is move along here as far up as I can. So if there's any bubbles, I'm dislodging them. Get away from my coaster. Go down as far as I can. Well, hopefully these colors blend pretty nicely, huh? The more you wipe, the more you get. Dirty. Okay. So, that's those. Then I have all this resin, so I'm going to grab something for us to do. Hang tight. I'll be right back. Oh, uh, where's my stylus? Uh oh. Hey, everybody. I'm back. Our pieces are cured. It's uh, actually the next day. I didn't come back out. It was late or early. I don't remember what time I was here last. I don't know. Anyway, they're all cured and looking good. So let's check them out. Let's get them out of the molds. All right. Nice and easily they come out. I'm just ready to pop one out. Right here. All right, ready? Bam! Not very pretty. Bam! 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 Yep, the party's in the front, nothing in the back. I want y'all to see how, what I'm talking about, how these don't level up. And tell me if you'd have a problem with it if you spent $75 on something and it didn't line up. Look, as close as you can get them. And then when you put them like this, which because they're not flat, it's going to be hard to show you, but when you put them like this, look. It's not hard to show you. You can see how they don't line up. That's what they do. You get one side lined up. Look. You get this side lined up. See they're all lined up. And that's what they look like hanging off. Can y'all notice that? Or is it just me? Is that a big deal? Or is it just me? I think it's a big deal. But whatever. What am I going to do? These are beautiful. I love them. I love them. Don't you guys? The blues and the black just looks great. That peacock green, the green we made, and the clear, semi-clear sides with the black crushed mirror in there. 
mm -mm -mm. With that silver, I just think it is beautiful. Man, I love it when a plan comes together. All right. That looks pretty. Then you won't know that they don't match or that they're not lined up right. All right, let's check out our little turtle, Arthur. Did I tell you all about that story? Every time we would go to the lake and we'd come home, my son would have a new turtle. And he always called him Arthur. Uh-oh. Look, I didn't fill up this enough. Remember I was short on resin? Maybe I shouldn't take him out. And I could put some clear in there. Yeah, I'm not going to take him out. And then my next project, I'm going to pour some clear in here. Because there's just enough color that will be on the front. And then the back will be clear. So I'm not going to take him out, guys. I have to show them to you next time. You'll just have to stay tuned to the next video. All right, let's take out our little octopus. I feel so guilty, y'all. I was trying to trim my dog's toenails, and she's so bad about staying still. Well, she moved at the same time I went to cut, and I cut her cuticle, y'all, and it was just bleeding and bleeding and bleeding. So I put some cornstarch on it, wrapped it up in a sock, and it was still bleeding, so I poured a whole bunch more cornstarch on, and then I put gauze on it, tape, and then I put it in the sock. I think it's helped it. <gasps> oh my God, look at this. <gasps> Is that not freaking cool? Check that out. That is bad to the bone. Look at his brain. Look at this. Um, striations, the patterns. That is freaking cool. And red eyes. <laughs> Do y'all like it or what? I think this is cool. I can only hope that the turtle looks as cool. Man, I love it. I can't stop looking at that. That's really, that's my favorite octopus. I've done him. This is the third time I've done him. This is my favorite. I love it. Man, that's cool. All right, guys. Well, that is the end of my what I have to show you, my video. Um, just a couple things, quick things. If you liked my video and you think what it, I did was pretty cool, then give me a thumbs up. Let me know you like it. And while you're there, go ahead and subscribe. It doesn't cost you a thing, but it sure helps me and my channel out a lot. I um, have a giveaway I'm doing for those who subscribe, who like and subscribe, and send me a comment telling me that they did so, so I can send you a number, and the number generator is going to pick our winner when I hit 500 subscribers. Down in the description has all the details. I'm also doing an honorary color in your name at my channel. All you have to do is make a $5 donation to PayPal, at least a $5 PayPal donation for supplies and such, such that we need for, that I need for the channel. Colors mainly, we need more colors. All the details for that is down in the description below. I get tongue tied when I talk about money. I don't like it, sorry. My hands are all twisty and I'm nervous. I don't like it. Everything's down in the bottom. If you don't mind reading it, I greatly appreciate it. It's pretty cool. You could have your name with a pretty color right here on my channel and get in contest with it and everything. Just check it out. Okay, I think that I have been through everything. Um, I love our project. I think it turned out great. So that's all for now. I appreciate you being here with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, take care. Bye.